Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 19th of 2023. Well, it is titled the busy center of the Lagoon Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is a portion of the Lagoon Nebula, which is also known by its catalog designation M8. And it's about 5000 light years away from Earth. Now it's the center of a star forming region that we see. And here we have an image of it, looking at some of it in very great, great detail at the very center of this nebula. Now we see a lot of dusty uh, dark areas where stars are still in the process of forming. And where the stars are present, it tends to heat up the material around it. Now when we talk about things getting heated up, it talks about the speed of the particles. Something that is hot has very fast moving particles and something that is cold has very slow moving particles. So when you get closer to re closer dusty regions around those hot stars, particles will be moving a lot faster and have much higher temperatures. Now that will give us very big differences in temperatures and that can create some of the funnel like clouds that we see towards the central region here. A very hot star heating up portions of this other parts very cold and those large temperature differences can cause those funnels such as the one seen towards the central region within this nebula. Now, as we see this again, we're looking at star formation and much of that is hidden by the dust. So the dusty material blocks out the light from behind it, making it much harder to see through. So very hard to see through that dust. Now we can do that in a couple of ways. One is by looking in the infrared part of the spectrum. Infrared light with its very long wavelengths is better able to penetrate the dust and give us a view into the interior where stars are forming. So that is one good way to really look into star forming regions which are often studied in the infrared. So now the dust dims the light, but it also reddens the light. And it does that because the dust is very good at absorbing short wavelength light. It scatters the blues and the greens all over the place. But the red light is longer wavelengths and is better able to penetrate. So if you look at a blue star through a very dusty haze, it's going to look much redder than it would otherwise be. And that's simply because the blue light has been scattered out of it. So dust does those two things to star starlight as the starlight passes through. It makes them fainter and it makes them redder than they otherwise would be. So here we see a lot of those dark dusty knots where stars are still in the process of forming. And could we look into those with an infrared telescope? We would be able to see the very beginnings of a star that is just forming here, adding to the cluster that is forming in this part of the sky near the constellation of Sagittarius. So that was our picture of the day for June 19th of 2023. It was titled the busy center of the Lagoon Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be large galactic bird. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.